Did you ever wonder how it is to live in the planet or what would happen if you were to try to enter to their atmosphere? Well, today we're gonna to find out. From freezing cold to scorching hot, solid surfaces to no surface at all, our solar system has a lot of scary places. So let's see how long you would survive on every planet in our solar system. First stop, Mercury. You might think that being so close to the sun, it must be unbearably hot and you wouldn't be wrong. The average surface temperature on Mercury is about 167 degrees Celsius. That's enough to melt most metal. If you were to somehow survive the intense heat, you wouldn't last long as Mercury has no atmosphere to speak of. Any attempt to breathe would result in all the air in your lungs expanding and then bursting your rib cage. So if you wanted to explore Mercury, you'd have to do it quickly, but you wouldn't be able to stay long. In fact, you'd probably only last around one hour before you died from either the heat or lack of oxygen. Next up, Venus. This planet is similar to Earth in size and mass, which makes it a very interesting place to study, but it's also incredibly hot with an average surface temperature of 375 degrees Celsius. If you were to land on Venus wearing a spacesuit, you would be met with crushing atmospheric pressure over 90 times that of Earth's pressure. Your body would be utterly crushed into a pancake. But even if you managed to survive the landing, you wouldn't last long as Venus's atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. These clouds are so dense that they block out the sun, plunging Venus into darkness. You would eventually run out of oxygen and suffocate. So, if you ever plan to visit Venus, make sure to bring a spacesuit that can withstand extreme temperatures and pressure. Otherwise, you may not make it out alive. Now let's move on to our home planet, Earth. Earth is the only planet in the solar system that is known to support life. It's got everything from oceans to lakes to rivers and even rain. And while some people might think that Earth is perfect, there are actually a few things that could kill you here. For starters, there are over 1 billion people on the planet, and they're all looking to take up space. Plus, there's always the threat of nuclear war or climate change, not to mention dangerous animals and natural disasters. But if you can survive all of that, you still have to watch out for the sun. Every year, the sun kills hundreds of people by giving them sunburns, heat stroke, and even skin cancer. But maybe the biggest danger of all is Earth's atmosphere. If you were to go up against it, it would be like trying to swim against a current. Even the strongest swimmer would eventually get exhausted and die. Next up, Mars. This planet is often referred to as the red planet because of its reddish appearance, but it's also pretty hostile to human life. The average surface temperature on Mars is about minus 63 degrees Celsius, and the atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide with very little oxygen. Even if you could survive the cold and lack of oxygen, you'd have to watch out for the dust storms. Martian dust storms can last for months and can cover the entire planet. If you were caught in one, you would be met with winds that could easily blow you away and temperatures that could drop to minus 220 degrees Celsius. So if you're planning a trip to Mars, make sure to pack a heavy coat. Now let's move on to Jupiter. This gas giant doesn't have a solid surface to land on, so we'll have to take a different approach. Imagine you're floating through Jupiter's atmosphere. You're surrounded by clouds of ammonia and methane, and the pressure is thousands of times that of Earth's pressure. Suddenly, you're met with winds that can reach speeds of 618 kilometers per hour. You struggle to keep your balance as you're tossed around in Jupiter's turbulent atmosphere. Then you see it, the Great Red Spot. This massive storm has been raging on Jupiter for centuries and you're about to be sucked right into it. As you get closer to the storm, the winds start to pick up speed. They tear at your spacesuit and try to pull you into the vortex, but you fight back, desperately trying to keep your grip on your ship. Just when you think you might make it, the storm's winds reach a speed of 900 kilometers per hour. Your ship is ripped apart and you're flung into the chaos. You're pulled deeper and deeper into the storm until you're completely surrounded by clouds. And that's how you would die on Jupiter. So there you have it, a terrifying look at what would happen if you tried to explore our solar system. Leave a comment below on which one do you think it's more brutal, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.